All right, so today we're doing something a little different. You guys know we love coming to the state of Montana. I mean, it's just amazing scenery, wildlife, outdoors, recreation. We're in just outside of Haver today. Uh, there's so many amazing world-class fisheries here. This isn't one of them. Uh, and we know that, but we had so many requests from people that said, can you please come to Haver and do Beaver Creek? It's my favorite place to go. We want to see if you guys can catch fish here. Now we know they're not going to be big. So all you haters that are going to talk smack about us not catching trophy trout, it's not about that. It's about finding a place for people to go with their families to catch trout. Let's toss it over here real quick. Using lightweight gear, so you always got to play them a little bit longer. There we go. The folks, for a stream like this, there is absolutely nothing wrong with a rainbow like that. That's how their gator on. <laughs> Look at him grab the net. Ugh. See how pretty little guy there. Look how pretty he is. As you guys can see, we've caught fish in every single hole we've stopped at here on Beaver Creek. And it's it's really amazing how many holes there are in this area. So take a look here. Right above Dee Dee, you got a riffle. And then you got all this soft water. And there's a current flowing right down the middle. All the way to that rock way down there. And as long as you take your float and freely allow your egg to drift, you're going to come into trout just like we are. There we go. There's a rainbow. He's a pretty little guy. He's got a nice ring of red stripe on him. Ooh, look at that. Look how pretty he is. That's a nice looking fish. All right, so as you guys can see, we just fished this hole right here. And now we're moving downstream a little bit. And Mitch is going to show you here exactly what we're using. Now, let me see that jar here real right quick. There. There is the world famous Balls of Fire Green Label. It works everywhere on the planet for trout. And we're gonna show you exactly what he's doing. He yep. has got, what size is this that? This is a size 14 fire hook. And the reason we're using such a small hook is because we're in a smaller stream. So we're trying to take as much as we can up with this egg right here. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this green label, we're just gonna slide it on the hook. And as you can tell with a smaller hook, it takes up a lot more of it with that egg. And then we're just running just a little bit, not too deep. And then we're running a Potsky fire float right there. And we're gonna see if we can catch a fish. Got him! There we got him. Right at the bottom of the hole, folks. That's sometimes just what you gotta do. Sometimes you just gotta work it all the way to the end of the hole. They're there, they're in the water. You know, just cause you don't hit them on that first couple feet, they're still there. You always got a chance when you're drifting water like this. There's always a chance. Look at how red that trout is, by the way. All right, there's the fish you guys just saw hit. That's a typical Beaver Creek rainbow. He's going to be put back in so you guys can come catch him. There's a nice one. Can't complain about a fish like that. Come on, buddy. Got him. He's chunky. Look how fat he is. <laughs> He's been eating good. He's eating at the neighborhood. There we go. Oh boy, that's an angry one. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at him fighting down here. Fighting like he's a 10 pounder. All right, so we're gonna show you what we did on number two here. Here's bait number two. This is just a garlic scented artificial egg is all it is. And the cool thing about these which is just a little bit different than just using a normal salmon egg, is these are insanely durable. What we mean by that is these things do not come off your hook. We've caught an already quite a few fish with this and still haven't had the need to change it. So we're gonna go ahead and show you how to rig it. This is, again, a 14 hook, fire hook, and we're just gonna slide this on there and they go on hard. They're super, super durable, so you really gotta work it on there. And then once you get it on there, you're gonna push it up towards the top of the hook. And the reason you're gonna do that, because these are so durable that sometimes you might not get as great of a hook set because if you cover up that hook, it might not always get a good poke. So pull it up there and you'll get really, really good hook sets on a really good bait. There we go. What did I tell you? That's not a sucker, is it? No, that's a bow. That is a bow right nice there. Nice bow. On the fire rig, very first cast. Cool. Calling it. These fire eggs are just getting to be ridiculous. They're loving this thing. <laughs> I'm loving this thing, honestly. You know, this is ridiculous. 
It's almost like cheating when you can use the same egg for this many fish. <laughs> Fire egg, two casts in a row, and this I one's a it. little bit, quite a bit nicer. You know what's funny? What did Deed say to you? That it wasn't gonna work? Deed said, don't use that, it's not gonna work. Look at how nice that guy Don't is. make me be the guinea pig. And guess what? I think it worked, folks. Guys, any questions? This is how bad he wanted it, okay? There's a float on there. Mitch yeah. set the hook instantly. He demolished it. He just it. inhaled it. All right, so last bait we're going to try today is the rainbow fire bait, and Mitch is going to take it from here. And we're just going to take take the lid off and see we've taken some out of there already. But you don't need very much with these small hooks. So we're just going to get just enough to cover basically the tip of your finger. All right, just going to put that down. And then we're still using that size 14. Okay. And then we're just going to, all we're doing is we're just going to push it inside that dough bait just like that. And then we're going to roll it. And we're gonna roll it, make sure it's nice and packed on tight on there. Makes almost like a worm. Are you kidding me? You just caught a sucker on fire bait? <laughs> a sucker on fire bait. Oh my gosh. Who would have seen that coming? Oh my goodness. The suckers will eat everything. Didi's gonna get really jealous. Tearing up, I can see it. That's my sucker. That's this fish. Only have a lot to catch those. You know what though? Look at that hook placement. That's all we can say. Yeah. Perfect hook placement. That's all because of that. Fire float. Oh my gosh. That's it finally. Finally got into a rainbow. After catching all the suckers. There. There's some proof I can catch some trout. Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from north central Montana. We're in the greater Haver area right now at Beaver Creek Park. This is Beaver Creek and it flows right below Bear Paw Lake. Now, we're in the Bear Paw Mountains and a lot of you are asking yourself, how in the heck did you guys find yourself here? We asked ourselves the same question, but so many people told us that the trout fishing in this creek is so good because it's stocked so heavy that we needed to come do a video here. We had a ton of locals tell us, why don't you give our area some love? Now we imagine that most of the people that fish here in the greater Haver area or in some of the farming communities along here, maybe Chinook, anywhere within 100 miles of here, we quickly found out that there's several things going for trout anglers here. Tremendous amount of public access in this park, and the fishing is very good. There's a lot of rainbow trout to be caught. The interesting thing for us was when we went on the Montana State website, we could not find Hill County Beaver Creek on there at all. So we don't know really what this stocked and what it's not stocked with. We do know there's a ton of trout here and they are stock trout. You can tell by the size of the fish, by the look of the fish, and we know that fishing can be extremely good here. Now we focused our efforts upstream of Rotary Falls to Bear Paw Lake. Probably a half mile, maybe a little bit longer section where we just walked along the trail and did a lot of trout fishing. We were the only ones there today. Now today was a Friday and sure enough the lake up above was packed. Now, all of our fish today came on several different baits. We caught a lot of fish on green label. We also used the brand new orange fire eggs and rainbow fire bait. When presented properly, the rainbows were eager to eat every one of these baits. Now all these fish were fished on our new fire floats. You can see those right here, as well as size 12 and 14 fire hooks. Now you see the guys using float for a reason. It's very snaggy here. It's an extremely shallow creek but it's loaded with trout. So we wanted to fish a lot of those areas that we knew were snaggy, so we could just catch and release trout after trout, just like we did here today. We only spent probably an hour and a half here, caught a couple dozen rainbows, and we put them all back so you guys could enjoy catching them. If you find yourself in the Haver area, or maybe you're camping up at Bear Paw Lake, this is a great local option for you to enjoy catching rainbows, just like we did. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.